behind the lines. Three, two, one, go! The robots are off autonomous mode as we get in. We're going to be seeing these teams try to get as many points with just the programming and control. We're going to be seeing the blue alliance get some points. One on the upper, but the red alliance quick to match with two cubes in the upper level as well as a cube and a cone in the lower. We're going to be seeing Beast Robotics see if they can end up getting a balance on the charge station. Successfully engaging. Blue alliance not quite able to manage. Red alliance early lead as we head into the teleoperated period. The teams are rushing across the field. We're seeing Beast Robotics go to that loading zone, seeing if they can end up picking up a cone. Meanwhile, their opposing alliance X sounds has the same idea. Trying to grab a cone a little too much momentum, but they readjust and clamp. We're seeing the Blue Alliance team, 34-18, that's Robo Riot, playing a little bit of defense on the Red Alliance, interfering with their ability to get across the field effectively. However, we are seeing the Red Alliance with Round Table Robotics, gonna be picking up a cube, Cone looking to place it. Meanwhile, their Alliance partner, Peace Robotics, has successfully placed one of the cones in the upper level. We're gonna be seeing if a link gets established by Beast Robotics. There isn't one on the board yet, but we still have plenty of time. We're seeing 34-18 on the Blue Alliance. Robo Riot up against the wall trying to grab one of the cubes. They successfully get it. Where are they going to place it? We have yet to see. Looks like it's going to be on that bottom level trying to complete one of the links. Remember, ranking points don't matter at this point in the game. So the commute, the cooperation zone isn't as valuable to get pieces in. We're seeing 31-97 work with the Hexhounds. They're rushing across the field, already deployed a piece. They're going to be looking to pick up another cone. Meanwhile, Beast Robotics getting interfered with by the Robo Riot team. But they and their alliance partner, 1786, 92 rather, managed to get past and into the community. Looks like Beast Robotics going to be going for a linkage on that upper level, getting that in place. That's going to be score. Looks like the Red Alliance is taking the lead right now, but with the end game still approaching, there's plenty of time left for the Blue Alliance to make the comeback they're looking for. We're going to be seeing 64-21. That's Warrior Bots getting another cube into place. Maybe not quite where they were looking to, but they are going to be trying again as their alliance partners, the Hexhounds are in the the pickup zone, seeing what they can end up grabbing. The Red Alliance, however, 28-30, Riverside Robo Tigers, Cuban in its possession, moving towards that center area. Going to be seeing if they can get another three points for the Red Alliance. We're in the end game now as the final 20 seconds are upon us. Teams are starting to take to that charging station. One, two, three on the blue, working to get up. They're trying to align themselves. Meanwhile, the Red Alliance having a little bit of an issue with alignment themselves. Looks like Beast Robotics may be going for a cone drop. They're not going to be getting it. There's only a few seconds left. Blue has all three on. Will Red be able to manage as well? Not quite in time. Alliance is going to be playing in match number seven against the number eight seeded Alliance, which just won the previous round. They're in the upper bracket. Lower bracket, however, we're seeing the losing alliance go into match number five against the currently number one ranked.